Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I have a fun video for you guys today. So this is kind of a remix on my Build A Palette series. I will link my playlist over here so you can check it out. But pretty much my Build A Palette videos are all about getting a color story idea, a theme from either an existing palette, a new release, and then designing my own palette from my single eyeshadow collection. And those have been really fun to do because I can just pull inspiration from existing palettes and not go out and buy them. And this video is a remix on that idea because I am still building my own palette, but instead of building it from singles, I am building my palettes from existing palettes. So there's some palettes that are magnetized so you can pull the shades out. You don't have to leave them in their original layout or format. You can mix and match, especially if you have multiple palettes from the same brand with the same pan size. You can swap in and out and Melt Cosmetics is one of those brands. So they have 10 pan eyeshadow palettes just like this one here. There are a couple shadows missing and then you have their eight pan palettes as well and these are all the same size pans and like I said they're magnetized so you can depot them from these palettes without ruining the packaging and you can always pop them back in. So what I'm gonna do in this video is grab all of my Melt Cosmetics palettes and we're gonna play around and choose my favorite shades from these palettes and then build my own color story based on the shades that I picked up. And I'd asked you guys if I should do this before and you said yes Go ahead and build your palette from your melt cosmetics palettes So that is what we're doing in this video and yeah without much further ado I think you understand the concept right the idea you get the general gist Let's go ahead and build my own personal palette from my existing melt cosmetics palettes All right, so I've managed to put all the 10 pan palettes into the frame but I have my two eight pan palettes out here just lonely and needing some love and attention, but we'll get them included when we start picking out the shades. But we're gonna start with our 10 pan palettes and I've kind of lined up the, sh the palettes that look the most similar next to each other. I think I'm gonna start in the middle because I really love this gray shade here and then I know I really love this blue shade from the Eternal palette and this green oh my god this green is so fantastic all right I am thinking this mustard I love this shade this is a stunning one and the rest I think I'm just gonna pick in silence so let's go ahead and just go through all the palettes and pick my favorite shades Let's pull in my eight pans here so we can get these included. This Gemini palette does not have magnetized pans so I couldn't take anything out of this but I just use similar shades from the other palettes. So let's put all the shades together that I pulled out. I pulled out quite a lot. <laughs> I pulled out way too many. Narrowing these down is going to be very, very interesting for me. There are some similar shades in here, so I'm going to try to group them by color family and then go from there. That would make it a little easier to navigate like the dupes or the shades that are really close to each other and get rid of the ones that don't make the cut. All right guys, so here we have all the shades lined up. I have 33 shades that I have selected and this is gonna be difficult. Okay, right out the gate, I see that these two shades 
are very very similar and I don't need both they're mostly mattes in this lineup but I wanted to include a few shimmers and I want to have a green shimmer in here one of them looks a little bit more aqua and one looks a little bit more green but I don't need both obviously right okay which color do I prefer I prefer, I think I prefer the green. Is this the green one? Yeah. So I prefer the green one from the Smoke Session stack. This is Sweet Tooth. So, okay, keep that one. We're getting rid of the other one. Then we have two light bronzy shades here that look, again, very similar. Let's try these out. So this is the first one. This is the second. Okay. First and second those are like those are almost identical guys all right which one do i don't even know which one to choose because they're spot i'm just gonna pick one i'm gonna pick that one so we're getting rid of this one and we can move through continue that way i really want to keep this really beautiful murky green shade it's so stunning I love shades like these so I think I'm gonna keep that one and then I want to keep one of these teal shades so let me swatch both of these these look very similar as well and I don't need both so I think I think mm, I'm gonna choose the more green one so we'll choose that one then we have the two gray shades we have a lighter gray and then a deeper gray hmm which one which one oh ooh, I don't even know which ones I'm so oh okay so that's the lighter that oh 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 this is hard oh my god i want i almost want to keep both but you can't keep both should i keep the the lighter gray should i keep the lighter gray or the deeper gray uh oh that is difficult oh crap i kind of i almost want to keep both but i shouldn't because i don't need two dark grays right all right, let me try this blue. I think I'm keeping the blue point blank, period. Yeah, the blue is staying. And then one of these red brownie shades. Let's see. That one. This one. Those look almost identical. Or this, ooh. See, I prefer this redder tone. So I'm gonna keep that, get rid of these two. All right, let's see these more swampy green shades. Well, they're not really green. They're like swampy tans. That one and this one. These are not really like exact dupes of each other, but I don't need, I don't need all of them. So I'm thinking, hmm, should I get this medium tone green rather than this light one or use the light one and mix it in with this darker you know what i'm gonna do the lighter one so we're gonna get rid of these two and then i have okay let's do these mustard browns this one is oh i almost want to keep that one for a highlight shade so you see on my skin tone it's more of a highlight then we have these warmer browns Ooh. Ooh. Okay, uh, da, 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 da. I'm looking at these three so far. Let me keep them together, get rid of that one for sure. Then let's look at these darker browns. We don't need all. Let's look at the darker browns. Okay. This one. Ooh, that one is so good. This one. That one is good too, and then this one. Okay, so this red one I think is out of it. This, hmm. Let me keep this one, and then I can get rid of the dark, dark gray, I think. 
but I still love that dark gray. Oh my God. I love that dark gray. Let me look at this orangey brown next to everything. And then this orange tone and then this mustard yellow. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's see. All right, I'm getting rid of this orange. It just doesn't go. Then I feel like I wanna keep this yellowy mustard shade, but then get rid of which one of these browns. I think I'll get rid of the orangey tone ones. Those go together a little bit better. Are we narrowed down yet? I don't know. How many ha do we have now? So we have 22 shades here. We still need to narrow it down more, of course. Looking at these shades, like from a distance, I can see the ones that are standing out that just don't go with the theme. So I'm gonna take out the two bright shades there. And even, yeah, that bright one can go too. They just don't go. This is coming together as more of like a grungy, dark, smoky palette, which is fine by me. I love a grungy, smoky palette. The other shade that's not quite jiving is this one here. It's just a little bit too purpley. It doesn't really go with the theme. And now we are down to 20. And I think that's that's good enough, right? Do I need to narrow it down even more? Is 20 good? I feel like 20 is a fair palette. This has given me very grungy, very fall, very deep, which is what I love. I love deep grungy colors. So I think, I think that's it. I'm good with, I am good with these. These are my top shades. Okay. Should we swatch these out? Let's go for it. First shade is Skeleton Kiss. This is a very light shimmery shade. That's gonna be our inner tear duct highlight color. Then we have, let's do this lighter brown, which is a Tole. I'm not gonna say what palettes they're from. I'll just pop them up on the screen. This one is gonna be our lid shade, like the light lid shade, but it can also be used for blending out in the crease. We have Blunt, which is a beautiful rusty mustard brown. And then I'll swatch the other mustard shade, which is Erode. And these names are familiar. I think Erode is from the Rust stack, but you see how those shades go together? And then we have Dank. This is from the 420 palette. And I love this kind of murky, greeny, brown shade. That's so stunning to me, I love that. And then I'll swatch the other like coordinating shades. So this one is Sour Diesel. This is from the Smoke Sessions palette. Look how beautiful that deep olivey green is. Don't you love that? And then let's go with Space Queen, which is also from the Smoke Sessions palette. So that is gonna amp up a little bit and give us some color. I'm loving it, like guys, I am so loving this right now. And here we have a shimmery green to offset some of these other shades. So this one is also from the Smoke Sessions palette and that is Sweet Tooth. Gorgeous. All right, let's swatch this other shimmer shade. I didn't put the name on that one. I forget which one that one is, but this is just a bronzy tone. Stunning. I'll figure that one out and pop it up once I go through the palettes. And then we have the dark rich blue, which is Noche Eterna. So look how stunning that deep blue is. I love it. All right, let's go on to the rest of the mattes and shimmers. Ravage is a deep bronze. So you can use that as like a grounding shade. It's very nude neutral. And we have Sleepwalker, which is again like a grounding shade because it is definitely more toned down stunning let's swap the red shade next to that this is sangre this is from one of the amor eterno palettes look how sexy that is then we have rot squared yeah this is such a good 
rich rich dark dark brown i love this shade so so much this is such a rich dark brown it's so stunning then we have of course our other browns so this one is chocolate stunning deep brown and it's a little bit lighter than rot so if you aren't trying to go too deep you'd use that one then we have whiskey neat this is another brown chocolatey shade oh i love this one. Oh, it is not trying to swatch well and then finally we have the two deep grays that we couldn't let one of them go because they're so beautiful one is the lighter gray and then the other one is a rich deeper gray and that can translate as almost like a black shade so there you have it guys aren't these stunning to me it's a beautiful grungy deep neutral palette with just that pop of shimmery color in the center and we could probably get rid of that shade and everything else would still jive together i love these rich kind of fall palettes they're so stunning to me I love rich dark tones. What do you guys think? These are my shades from all my melt palettes that I would put together. And I think, yeah, I think they look pretty neat. I like them quite a lot. What do you guys think? All right, guys, so what do you think about my remixed palette from my existing Melt Cosmetics palettes? I actually really, really, really love the color story. Like, grungy, colorful is right up my alley. I love colorful shades, but I love deep, colorful shades because I think they're so versatile, and I think not enough brands make dark, colorful shades, especially in singles. Not a lot of brands do that. And then even in palettes, you barely get colorful shades. You get a dark brown or black but you never truly get like colorful shades like a burgundy or a blue or a deep teal those are the shades I love so of course those are the shades that I gravitated towards in the Melt Cosmetics palettes and honestly that's why I gravitate towards Melt Cosmetics as a brand I love their color stories and I love their palettes because of those deeper colorful shades so let me know what you guys think of this video and what you think of my palette if you liked it thumbs up favorite share subscribe all that good stuff leave a comment and let me know if you like my palette and what you would have done differently like what shades would you have picked out of all those palettes let me know and i'm gonna go ahead and leave links as well to my instagram and twitter where you can follow me along and i'll also link where you can pick up these melt palettes in case one of them caught your eye i will leave the link to sephora down below because they're sold on sephora and also on the melt cosmetics website and there's sales going on so you might be able to get something on sale just saying just putting that out there but until my next video i thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you're staying healthy both physically and mentally and staying as safe as you possibly can so until my next video which will be very soon i'll talk to you bye guys